All right, you guys know what day it is today. The day where brands show us their funniest products, ideas, and everything in between. I make a video every year about all the pranks that brands do for April Fools. This is one of my favorite videos to post. Like, I look forward to this day all year. This is my, this is my Super Bowl. So presenting for 2024, here's a roundup of what brands did for April Fool's Day. Oreo came out with just the wafer Oreos, or I guess now they're just cookies. They released a statement saying, after time and consideration, we have made the decision to separate the cookie and cream duo. 7-Eleven came out with the big bite hot dog sparkling water. Califia Farms came out with pickle flavor almond creamer. Oh, I love it when brands partner up for April Fools for their prank. Um, so Olipop and Pringles came out with a sour cream and onion soda. Tinder released a job application for their VP of ghost hunting. The roles for this job is to find breadcrumbers, zombies, submariners, orbiters, benchers, slow fades, and Kyle. Crocs is always so unhinged. Like their post last year was also crazy, um, but this, this is a little much. So I believe these are toe gibbets. Domino's announced that they're taking pineapple off the menu. As someone who actually likes pineapple on pizza, um, not a fan of this one. I can always count on Duolingo to pull through for April Fools and they went all out. They made a full production, like this whole video, to announce Duolingo on ice. <laughs> the performances include Spanish or Vanish, La Duo et La Dua, and French or the Trench. Skittles made a fruity scent deodorant. Talkies made ice cream. Quizlet came out with Rizlet 101, how to riz up your campus pookie. <laughs> and they even made merch with it. Another company that was dedicated enough to make merch was Duncan, which announced a name change to just donuts. Hence the sweatshirts that say donuts. Supergoop, the sunscreen company, came out with a pop screen. So a sunscreen for your dogs. Stanley, yes, the Stanler Tumblr company, came out with the Fuzz Flow Quencher. Jelly, the showerhead company, also partnered up with Stanley to make this travel size a shower head. It says that's TSA friendly and you can easily install it into your hotel and comes in tons of different colors. I cannot with this one. Honeypot Co, the feminine care product company, made these. It says that it's clinically tested and shown to taste like the real thing. Here are the six flavors. You can read them for yourself. <laughs> Honey Paco, you really went there. Also, Tower 28 made a SOS slip or slide product. Their new um, lubricant. Krispy Kreme posted this. You can bring in any item and they will glaze it. Jif Peanut Butter made a peanut butter butter. Here's a visual. Driscoll's Raspberries made candy tasting raspberries, which I am so down for this. Like we already have cotton candy grapes, so why not this? Bloom Greens with their ice cream. Um, This should also be a thing. Baskin Robbins with their lip products. Pink Bubble Candy. Choco Chip Glaze and Strawberry Girl Glam. Calbee came out with Shrimp Chips Ice Cream. Sour Patch Kids is no longer Sour Patch Kids. They rebranded to Sour Patch Adults. Exhibit B, Exhibit C. Dole made a banana sleeping bag. Sol de Janeiro came out with a spider salve with notes of cobweb dust, spider musk, moth musk. Sweet green with their spicy cashew mints and miso ginger toothpaste. Owala with their denim water bottle. Aquaphor with their new app called Find My Aquaphor that will help you locate where your Aquaphor products are. Ugg made their popular Tasman shoes into a bed. Okay, but honestly, this looks really comfy. Another one I would not be mad about, Hot Pockets and Nestle Toll House made a chocolate chip cookie dough Hot Pocket wrapped in a brown butter crust with nine grams of protein. Speaking of protein, Quest, like the protein bar company, made some protein seasonings. If they made this, I feel like this would pop off. Zappos made their Soulful Scents candles, which are candles that smell like feet with scents like hoka honey, choco latte crocs, Asics aloe, and Bold Brooks bouquet. The Empire State Building and Rainforest Cafe partnered for their prank. Again, another one that's low-key a great idea. Wheat Thins made Wheat Fix. We've got a lightly salted flavor and a salted caramel flavor. <laughs> I'm cracking up at the comment section. All these brands showing their support for Wheat Fix. Subway says, the world has been waiting Thank you, Baskin Robbins, not gonna lie, here for the salted caramel fix. Morton Saul, Belvita, the PR marketing girlies that are running these accounts, they're, they're just having such a good time. Kendra Scott made scented stones. We've got some nice flavors like bubble gum, but then we've got some horrific ones like 2% unleaded gasoline. Laneige made their on-the-go beauty tool that you can customize with these little charms. Triscuit is entering the home decor space. They have a woven Triscuit pillow for $50 made with real Triscuit minis. Pizza Hut with their new skincare line, Glow in the Dark posted notes. Milani Cosmetics is all about the gourd girl era with all these products so that you can achieve that gourd girl look. Tarte Maracuja glow in the dark lippy. Vera Bradley came out with a dumpster paisley print. Got a dumpster fire, a raccoon, garbage bags. Real Techniques came out with edible mini miracle puffs. 
Caption says, for years we've helped you look like a snack and now we're making them. Drumstick teasing us with this nugget cereal. Again, I think this should be a real thing. Reese's Puffs with a strawberry flavor. Dr. Pepper with a toothpaste. EOS lip balm with an Alfredo and cheddar cheese flavor. Little Words Project like the Friendship Bracelet Company. Made a corporate pack edition so all the corporate baddies can be rocking their bracelets. Got designs that say action item, bottom line, quick win, touch base. Okay, this one was a little bit of a mean prank because low-key, I would love for this to happen. The Seattle travel page said Coachella is moving to Washington starting in 2025. If you don't know, I'm from Seattle, hence that's why I would love for this to happen. Another city-specific one, I have to shout this one out because I still live in LA. A Los Angeles page posted this saying a proposed transplant tax law will charge people who relocate to LA County. Crumble Cookies made a color-changing cookie based on your mood, kind of like a mood ring. Prime made a fried chicken flavored drink. And this brand, Kevin's Natural Foods, made a variety of skincare and body products. The cilantro lime toothpaste. Korean barbecue deodorant. Tikka Masala sunscreen. Here's a visual um, that you probably didn't need. <laughs> and lemongrass basil shampoo. I love it when brands team up together and collab for April Fools and do some sort of joint prank. Fruity Pebbles and Kraft Mac and Cheese teamed up to make a fruity flavored mac and cheese. Sonic teamed up with Moe's to make a queso flavored slushy. Auntie Anne's teamed up with Frontier Airlines to make the pretzel plain. You'll be served with fresh pretzels, which um, I'm fine if they make this a real thing. And the scent of warm pretzels from the air vents. <laughs> Looks like they've got some competition because JetBlue is partnering up with Original Nathan Franks to have hot dogs served on the plane. Another plane one, Base Luggage, is partnering up with Lonely Ghost to make Lonely Airlines. Shake Shack and this brand, I think it's pronounced Rainston Ross or Rhinestone Ross. Here's the name. They're making a 20 karat solid gold forever fry fork. So like a fork exclusively for fries, which I'm not mad about. Like if I don't want to get my fingers dirty, I can just use that. But I don't even want to see the price on this one. Tic Tac and Del Taco are making these spicy Tic Tacs with different levels of heat, starting with original, medium, and and hot. This one is so funny. Fat Fit Fun and Fun Boy, like the pool inflatables company, is making a inflatable swimsuit. Here are the bottoms that inflate. This way, if you don't know how to swim, it's okay. You're all set. Scotch Tape and Scotch Whiskey are teaming up to make this product. I think it would just be their regular drink with like the Scotch Tape branding because I don't know how they would make a tape flavored drink. Gushers, and I'm pretty sure the brand is pronounced Totino's. They're making Gushers flavored pizza rolls. <laughs> Sally Hansen, the nail polish company, is teaming up with Acme Smoked Fish to make different smoked fish scented nail polishes. Sparkling Ice and Red Hot Wings are making a classic ranch flavored drink. 